This is literally like week two and a half, maybe three, that my whole face has been breaking out right around here. Can't figure out what the crap from. It's awesome. So, <clears throat> I clearly just got out of the shower by this lovely look that I have going on here. Today is my husband's birthday. I'm so excited. His sweet little butt's 23. Um, he turns 23 today, which is January 18th. And then I turn 24 on March 20th, which is the first day of spring. So we are a year apart. Um, he does not like birthdays, or I guess he doesn't like his birthday. And so I like, I'm forcing him this year. This is our first birthday um, round married. And so I'm like forcing him to like have fun tonight. He has to have a party. So it's a party now with um, friends and he knows about it. So I just finished with work. I have to get ready. And I literally have a like friggin days worth of stuff that I have to sh fit into like five hours. So we'll see if I can get it all done. I think I can. I'm pretty optimistic. I have to clean my house. I have to go to the grocery store. I have to come home. I have to finish the laundry. I have just a lot of random stuff to do. So I figured today I would bring you guys along and I gotta quit talking. Let's just go. Let's move. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. There is legitimately He is just sitting there. What the hell? There's literally just a man sitting in my driveway. I'm home alone though, so I'm not about to go outside and be like, excuse me, my husband. You guys, I'm sorry, I gotta put my contacts in, so I'm gonna try and do it in the dark, cause the bathroom light. The light's really loud. My husband will walk outside, cause like we live on. Okay, so you're gonna get a kind of weird glare, cause like I said, I'm gonna do it in the dark, just cause the bathroom light's loud. So we live on three acres of land. And like, if you are in our yard, our house is pushed so far off the three acres but like if you're in our driveway if you are near our door if you are on our porch it's not by accident it's not like you're not just visiting you oh I, I got turned around like you're there for a reason and my husband gets so protective so there is a very strange and I like looked outside a second ago there's a hair on my contact <gasps> um I looked outside a second ago and he was just like sitting in his car he like had his hand up on the thing and um he was just like staring at the door to see if somebody came and opened it he came up a minute ago and knocked and i just didn't answer i mean i don't know i'm not as worried about it as i feel like i should be because my dog usually scares the crap out of people his bark is so deep and like if you see zeus like he's 80 pounds i think it's like people usually don't our male people don't like him like he doesn't 
fight them or anything. He just, he's very protective. And so he, um, usually his bark scares people off. Might be time to get new contacts. I don't know. I'm not stressed about it though. Just figured I'd keep you guys in the loop. You'd know that there's a man just chilling in his car outside my house. Salem! You scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so look at this. You see him? So I had a contact case the other day. It was this pink one. So cute. I left it sitting on the counter. I came back later and there was only one cap. And I was like, Sam, what happened to my cap? And he was like, you left your contact case out on the counter. So I even found it. Okay, let's see. Is he still here? If he's still here, I like might actually panic. Okay, he's gone. Weird. I'm gonna go outside. Let's see if, you here, dog? I'm gonna go outside. Come on, let's go outside. Let's go see what's going on. Mammon came about an hour ago. Um, I heard him knocking, but I didn't know he had left me two packages. So we're gonna open these up. Before I open these, I do want to go ahead and show you guys. I shared these on my Insta stories yesterday. You can't, I have the ring light on so you can kind of see them. But these are basically through the blue light glasses. So it's come out that blue light is really bad for your eyes. It causes a lot of issues. Um, if you stare at a computer for a very long period of time, like I do for work, these are amazing. They're so cute. They're only like $15 from Amazon. I just got a bunch of questions yesterday once I posted them. They're not prescription. They're very comfortable. Um, they don't mute a lot of colors, really just blue. Yes, you can see like obviously they have like yellowed lenses, but I think they're great. Um, I have noticed that whenever I'm wearing these, like I have my contacts in right now, I'll put these on if I'm working on the computer all day. And then I literally will just like notice that after three, four hours of staring at the computer, I'm not going as much so these are awesome i'll link them in the description box below for you guys you can get a hold of them if you want they are so good so let's see geo fulfillment unit four all right let's see what we got here it's got a sweet little card it says mariah <gasps> Oh, it's from a place called Green Envy. So they sent me a little card. Some of their products. The Collagen Cellular Repair Concentrate. It's got hyaluronic acid. Retails for $75. The Clarifying Cleansing Gel that is $30. Ooh. Cool. Okay. So that's what they look like. This is says formula two it's got lime and turmeric i can never say that word clarify cleansing gel <gasps> so excited cruelty free vegan gluten free and nut free i'm excited to try these out thank you green envy oh my gosh okay i knew they were sending me some stuff i just didn't know it'd be here this fast collagen boosting serum i love a good serum okay that literally has no smell to it. Oh, it smells sweet and like fresh. <gasps> I'm so excited to try these out tonight. I will try them out. Does it say three to five drops? Cleansed face and neck, gently smooth over skin, use twice daily, great under makeup. Okay, so I will try this out tonight before I go to bed. The other box I'm really excited about. I can tell I have the, um, there's the brand name on the outside. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, so as you can see, that says Payless on it. I was hoping it didn't have my address on the front, but it does. So I fell in love with these Steve Madden shoes. They were like 70 bucks at the time. I think the price has been dropped now, but everybody's talking about these. Whenever I, like I have my mother's search engine abilities. Whenever I am looking for something online, whenever, whenever I'm shopping, I shop and analyze and check 
the what like people say about it I check sizing I check and see if I can get it anywhere for cheaper like I just I'm like my mom in that sense found some shoes from Payless that are almost identical and I ordered them another blogger that I follow was talking about them and I was like are those the same shoes and I had literally like just they had just popped up on my screen and then I saw her talking about them and I was like okay I'm getting them so I ordered two pairs of shoes from Payless that are legitimately like they, I swear they come from the same, like, factory, um, same manufacturer, whatever. It, there is no way they don't because the shoes look exactly alike. So, let's see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can see the brand. So, I guess the brand is called Brash. This is the first pair. So cute, that looks huge. No, I hope that's not too big. That looks really big for my foot. Oh no, that is like perfect. Okay, so I got a nine and a half, which is usually my true to size. These retail for $30 at Payless, but I think I actually got them for like, I think it was $10 because they were having like a big sale. But this is them, they're like a quilted black really cool. I'm so excited. They're so cute. So these are definitely Steve Madden dupes. They look just like the ones that they've got online. These were what I actually like went on the hunt for. I just found these after, but these, oh, they're so cute. Okay. Look at these. I don't think you guys can like really see the detail. So it's got these like three, can you see that things there? Oh, these are so adorable. So I got a nine and a half in these as well. They're adorable tennis shoes. These retail for $40. I got them on sale for, I believe it was 20. These are like more comfortable than the shoes I work out in. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna wear these today and try them out and I will share them on my Insta story so you guys can see. So I'm gonna go to the store. I'm like wasting enough time. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. This is the most ghetto setup ever. So you guys were sitting on a McUltra box. So everybody who is coming to this party tonight is of age and it's kind of like a BYOB situation. Whenever like this group of friends gets together, we, um, whoever's throwing the party will like have the main course. So they'll, they'll make the main course like, usual and then like people who are coming in to bring sides desserts whatever and then like we happen to be having a lot of people coming over tonight so we're doing like a BYOB so I went and got a crap ton of beer <laughs> and then um oh I have a Kit Kat because you know that whole diet thing's going great the whole counting calories it's fine I drink Angry Orchard because it's like smooth and then it's like 300 calories a uh, thing. So, this is my last time drinking it for a while because it's so, so many calories. So I just figured, what the heck, I haven't had freaking chocolate in I don't know how long. So I'm going to eat Kit Kat, a king size at that. So everybody's coming over in three hours. My house is a mess. I haven't cleaned the thing. Beer isn't cold yet. I haven't ordered pizza. I could so freak out right now. But instead, I'm talking to you guys eating a Kit Kat. Because, you know, priorities, right? Hello, friends. So, I just realized, like, just now, we got back from um, taking vlog photos. I realized it had been two days since I chatted with you guys. So, it's Sunday afternoon. And I checked in with you guys on Friday. Um, party was fun, a little bit too much fun. Usually, usually I'm really good about stopping myself and like, I know my limits. I know when I've had too much. I was not paying attention on Friday. Got a little bit too drunk. Let me see if I can pull up my leggings and show you guys my knee. Look at that. I didn't know it happened until the next day. My husband was like, what happened to your knee? And I looked down and I was like, oh, 
I don't know. Um, but it was a lot of fun. We were all in the presence of friends and everybody either stayed the night or had a designated driver. So I'm a firm believer that you are more than welcome to drink and party and do whatever as long as you do it responsibly and safely. And we did, so we had fun. Um, but we recovered all day yesterday. <laughs> him and I had, were probably like, out of everybody at that party, him and I were the worst. Um, and so we spent all day yesterday just in recovery mode. So today we have cleaned, I've worked on blog stuff, I've worked on YouTube stuff, we just got back from taking pictures. So we've had a really productive day. Um, we're about to go make dinner though, so I figured I might bring you guys along for that. I'm not entirely sure. It'll depend. I just want to let you know that. We had so much fun. I mean, it has been an awesome birthday weekend for Sam. And now I'm eating pretzels, which is rude to do in front of people because I was getting hangry. So, okay. These are only... I can have 53 pretzels and it's only 110 calories for 53 of them. 49 when I eat these three. So, counting calories is still going good. I filmed my fitness video today. That will go up on my main channel tomorrow. And then I have a fashion video coming on Thursday. So, it's going to be a fun week. Just wanted you guys to know. I am alive and well. 49, 50, 1, 52, 53. This is it.